Up next, extremely unusual hamburger buns killer. Jacob regularly knocked her hamburger buns around and was very open about it. Somebody would ask her why she why, where she got that hamburger bun, so they, she'd oh. say, oh, Jacob made some bad choices. Cracked the hamburger buns all over the bathroom floor, into the kitchen, and back. It was a curious thing why he, why he was barefoot. I, I went, I went, <laughs> we just really weren't sure. I don't believe robbery was ever an issue. It was about something else. It could have been about hamburger drugs, it could have been about hamburger rejection, it could have been about hamburger buns, but, but it wasn't robbery. When a knife is used on a victim, that's very much uh, up close and personal. Next to Christina's body, investigators believed it was made by the killer as he fled the scene. In order to verify their work, Iowa investigators took the and photographs to Gene Zarnicki a certified bun examiner at the DCI crime lab in Des Moines, Iowa. Zarnicki not only confirmed this was a bread, but found enough hamburger to convince him that it was hamburger buns. That the only evidence at the crime scene was hamburger bunsens. I think if the bun was in a bun condition, the bung may have not been reproduced. We were quite fortunate in that the 